In our last episode, we built this treehouse village, but today I want to challenge myself with something a little bit different. And taking inspiration from this Roman fort build that we built, I thought we'd take a little turn for the medieval ages. And I think I found the perfect spot. So this outcrop located in the southwest of the map offers three sides of protection. So we only need to really worry about one side. Now I would absolutely love to have some trees at the top of here, but I'm not sure how doable that is going to be. We're going to start by chopping these back. And here we are. Most of those trees have been removed. We've kept a couple to play around with. The next thing that we need to do is start layering out the actual build itself. We want to do the outer curtain wall and then we'll start planning out where we want the keep to be. Maybe it's going to be more of a manor house uh, looking at the shape of this. We'll see. So I think what we're going to do is maybe have the wall just at this lower section here. So if we start building this this out from, I don't know, here. And then we can maybe have the keep in this section here. But we do need to, first of all, do the wall all the way around. But you can see that we are working on the wall. I've also laid out some areas for towers as well as a little gate here. So I'm hoping we're making it work. We're going to have a diagonal out towards here and then we'll have its own little walkway. And then we'll probably try and do a wall all the way around the outside, but we do want to have a way to walk along the, at least on this section between the towers and also along the wall. Thankfully that fixed it. So we're just finishing the wall and then we'll get to work on the towers. Of course we do also need to start cutting these out as well. So I've been doing this for half an hour and we're finally coming to the last stretch here. I just, I wish there was a quicker way to do this. If we could place them down as stakes and then place them with the log hack, that would save me so much time. But hey ho, I think we'll start off with the front section where the, the gateway is that you can see we've done there. But we'll have a little walkway across and then we'll also have the two towers either side and then the two towers out from there. Starting off, we'll just make sure that we've got the gateway way done and from here we'll probably do a crossing across here here we are and remove these again okay that works out next i'm going to do the border around the tower we need to build up the the scaffolding and the support for this underneath the battlements i would like to have a walkway here you can see we've got started on the tower's foundations and then we're going to do a walkway along here but we do have a slight problem which is this area is uneven and we can't can't place flooring against that. So this is going to be just a raised battlement. And then here, what I've been doing instead is placing these like you would the defensive walls. But once we do this, we'll move on to the next story. So I've done the outer section of this turret. We do need to lift it up further, but once I've covered this whole layer in, I'll do the outer like top section of the wall so that we can walk along here and uh, have a look at any would-be attackers and obviously defend the, the gatehouse, which is this section here. One thing that I have to say is the new system for placing the staircases against an existing wall is fantastic. I mean, well played to end night for that makes life so much easier. Obviously, with us building a castle, I did want to do the crenellations if possible. And I think the best way for us to do this is by placing down the half log, which you just saw then, and then finding a long one and just placing this in between, like here. And we'll do this too high, so there's just a little bit of height. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just doing the gatehouse at the moment. I think we should have a peaked roof here because the keep will no doubt have the crenellations around the outside of it. I haven't been able to work out how to do a peaked roof. And I think the problem is because it's a three by three grid. So what I'm going to have to do now, rather than have it peaked on four sides, it will just be sloped either side. And then we'll place the peak on this side. I'm actually pretty happy with how this 
this section is at the moment. So the next thing that we're going to do is this tower really quickly. And then after that, I want to do a walkable section for the wall as well. I think it's important with this back tower to be more like an observatory tower. So it's going to be higher than the others. I'm liking this. We certainly need to cut out some of the windows in that tower so that they can actually use it. But we do need to move on to the keep. But first, I need to sort out those walls. So we're going to run this all the way along. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty much parallel. Sweet. And from here, we'll just square this off so that we can start lifting it up. And then this will be the battlement seeing over everything. I'll be absolutely honest, this was much easier than it I thought it was going to be given that we had so much trouble prior with getting everything sorted. But you can see we have a little walkway across and this actually leads all the way through to the gatehouse as well. So at this point, I think we're going to move on to the keep and then maybe we'll consider at a later date doing a little village within the castle. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments below. I think for the keep we will start it up here i quite like the idea of having access to that water there but we do want it quite large so we're going to build the footprint first i'm going to start by adding these all the way around and we'll build the foundation layer at this height and i think we have the layout for our our keep we're just going to keep it to an l shape here that means that we have more space for other things later on and we we can even do a wall around this should we wish to. Let's cover the floor and then we'll start working on the wall. Plotting the keep outs are kind of interesting. I think we're going to have the entrance into what would be the great hall or the, the main hall. And then here we'd probably have uh, the kitchens and then some bedrooms or maybe the barracks. And so that's what we, we've kind of got going here. I need to separate all the different sections though. I put these struts just along the side almost to, to reinforce it. I think it looks kind of cool. Here we are currently and you can see it's rising above. I think we need to go up one more floor after this and then we're ready to fill it all in and add the crenellations to really make it stand out. It's coming along nicely, guys. So we've done downstairs, we have the banquet hall area. We've also got the equivalent of four bedrooms. Obviously one would be a kitchen and then three bedrooms. And then up here along the balcony, we have a corridor around the back end. This is going to be for windows for some more protection. And then we also have a little balcony here as well, overlooking the safe area. At this point, we are on the last stage. We're just adding the crenellations now, and then we will be done. And if you do want access to this build, then do check out my Patreon, as we'll no doubt be uploading that at the start of next month. And here we are. I'm happy with how it's turned out. I would like more buildables. I keep saying this. I feel very limited with what we've got, but I am very happy with what we've managed to do here. The keep is standing above everything else. I would like to do a little wall around there later on. And we also have the three towers and the gatehouse, which looks rather well protected. We could add some spikes along here as well. Along with that, we have a pretty easily accessible area. Wonder if it would be possible to do another wall along there. Maybe, maybe we should extend this. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, below about that. Definitely think we could do a little town here or a, a village as part of the keep and then another little wall around it. If we go across, we obviously have the ability to climb up into these towers and have a commanding view over this little stretch of land, which is where all the attackers could potentially come from. And then from here across into the observatory tower, which offers a bit of a better view across the whole of the castle grounds. As for the keep itself, I think it looks all right from the outside. It looks more like a, like a royal house rather than a, a specific strategy tower. But we have the little kitchen here. Maybe we could add a little fire. We also have little bedroom. So each one of these is about like this with with stuff for the bed. We head upstairs. We also have access to the balcony just here, as well as the corridors here for fighting. And we can go to the top as well and 
see the view from here. Of course, we have the battlements all around and it's well protected with a stunning view. Look at that. But we are going to leave it there. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon, most notably our Solo Eclipse patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesh, and Trebor, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, the MN Wolf, and that Dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the City Rat. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.